A semicircle is half a circle. That means it will have half the area of a circle. You might think that it means it will have half the perimeter of a circle, but that is not true. Let's find out more about semicircles by first reviewing circles. A circle is the set of all points on a plane the same distance from a given point. The given point is the circle's center. And very often the circle is identified by its center point. A major part of a circle is its diameter, which is a chord from the circle straight through the center point and back to the circle. Half of a diameter, a radius, is the distance from the center point to the circle. Any line segment originating and ending at the circle is a chord. Another major part of any circle is its circumference, or the distance around the circle. This is a linear measure. The formulas for circumference can use either the circle's diameter or its radius. A third major component of a circle is its area, or the space contained by the circle. This is always measured in square units based on the linear units used for the circle's circumference, diameter, and radius. The formula for the area of a circle is built around its radius. A equals pi r squared. To make a semicircle, take the diameter of the circle, remove one half of the circle along that diameter, you have a semicircle. So, a semicircle is half the circumference plus the diameter of a circle. The perimeter of a semicircle is half the original circle's circumference plus the diameter. Since the semicircle includes a straight side, its diameter, we cannot describe the distance around the shape as a circumference. It is a perimeter. Recall that the formula for the perimeter or circumference of a circle is c equals 2 pi times r, or c equals pi times d. To find the perimeter of a semicircle, you need half of the circle's circumference plus the semicircle's diameter. p equals 1 half 2 pi times r plus d. The 1 half and 2 cancel each other out. You simplify and get this. p equals pi times r plus d. Using the substitution property of equality, you can also replace diameter with radius throughout. So it would look like this. Feel free to pause the video and try it with the examples in the Try It section of the article below. Now let's discuss the area of a semicircle. You find the area of a semicircle by plugging the given radius into this formula. A equals pi times r squared divided by 2. The area is always expressed in square units, based on the units used for the radius. For example, this semicircle has a radius of 19 centimeters. To find its area, we replace r with the actual value. So, a equals pi times r squared divided by 2 becomes a equals pi times 19 centimeters squared divided by 2. Solve for a, and you get a equals 567.057 centimeters squared. Now that you've learned about perimeter and area of a semicircle, test your skills with the example problem at the bottom of the article below.